Suppose we want to use L'Hopital's rule to calculate. Suppose we want to use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit as x approaching 0 plus of e to the negative 1 over x power over x. Well, first, let's verify that if we can actually use L'Hopital's rule. Because remember, in order for this to work, we must have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So let's see. When we put 0 plus into here, we are going to get negative 1 over 0 plus, and that's negative infinity. So we are going to get e to the negative infinity over 0 plus, which is just say 0. e to the negative infinity is the same as 1 over e to the infinity, which is just 1 over infinity, which is just 0 over 0. Aha, so it is 0 over 0. So, L'Hopital's rule should work, right? Because that's what we have been talking about. Well, let's just go ahead and give this a try. Because it is 0 over 0, let's try L'Hopital's rule. Meaning that, go ahead, differentiate the top, and then differentiate the bottom. And we will still have the limit as x approaching 0 plus. Okay, the derivative of the bottom is easy, just 1. The derivative of e to the whatever is just e to the same thing, but we will multiply by the derivative of the inner function. This is the same as saying negative times x to the negative 1. Put the negative 1 to the front, negative times negative gives us positive. And then we will have x to the negative 2 power because we do negative 1 minus 1. So I will write it as 1 over x squared. So this is the derivative of that. Alright, what can we do next though? The 1 on the bottom doesn't matter. I will put the x squared on the bottom there. Okay. So we are going to get the limit as x approaching 0 plus e to the negative 1 over x power over x squared. Okay? Okay. We are making some progress, I assume. Uh, let's see, when we put 0 plus into here and here, yeah, it's another 0 over 0 case. But don't worry, I think Lapitos rule should you know, help, should work. Uh, let's see. 0 over 0, Lapitos rule one more time. This is the limit as x approaching 0 plus. Differentiate the top and then also the bottom. On the top, we get e to the negative 1 over x power and then multiply by the derivative of that, which is 1 over x squared. And then the derivative of x squared is just 2x. All right, this is the limit as x approaching 0 plus. I'm just going to write that on the top is e to the negative 1 over x over x squared on the bottom. So altogether we have 2x to the third power. Really? Seriously? Originally we just had x to the first power and um, we did the L'Hopital's rule twice. And now the denominator is 2x to the third power. It got bigger and then the top is still the same. So, should we keep going? I don't think so. No, 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 no. So what does this mean? No answer? No, it's just that we cannot use L'Hopital's rule this way, all right? So I will just put a sad face right here. But on the test though, do not put on a sad face for your answer. The sad face is never the answer, all right? I just want to demonstrate that L'Hopital's rule does not work if you do it this way. We will still use L'Hopital's rule, but you will see how. Here's the limit as x approaching 0 plus. We have e to the negative 1 over x power on the top over x. And in fact, this is a very classic example that you should not just do L'Hopital's rule without being careful, without um, have a sense of danger. So what exactly do we do then? First off, we have this negative exponent, so we can bring this down to the bottom. So this is the limit as x approaching 0 plus, and let me just put that as e to the 1 over x power on the bottom. And we do have this 1 over x. You see, this is the 1, and then we have that over x. I'm just going to write that on the top like so. And if you kind of work this out, you will get back to the original, so they are equivalent. Now have a look. When we put 0 plus into here and here, we get infinity over infinity. That's good because we can still use L'Hopital's rule. So 
infinity over infinity this time hoping for the <laughs> hoping for better and uh, we are going to just do Laputa's rule here so ddx and then ddx here we go the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared done the derivative of this is e to the 1 over x times the derivative of that which is the same as the derivative of the top negative 1 over x squared this is so good do we see it because this and that cancel out completely and then we are getting the limit as x approaching 0 plus and then we have just 1 on the top over e to the 1 over x and now I will just put 0 plus into here so we will get 1 over e to the 1 over 0 plus now 1 over 0 plus is infinity so this is 1 over e to the infinity and it's past the infinity e to the infinity is infinity because e is bigger than 1 so we have this we have 1 divided by infinity a non-zero num a non-infinity divided by infinity we get 0 so in fact the answer for this right here is equal to 0 and you just have to do the algebra first before we do Laputa's rule just like this all right so hopefully this right here gives you an idea and just kind of bring up the uh, attention that we will not be able to use Laputa's rule in some situations even though it is 0 for 0 or maybe infinity over infinity we just have to do it carefully right? just like this one right here for more examples on Laputa's rule check out my playlist and I'll see you guys over there that's it